You know, it shouldn't take a research grant to do exploration. It should take curiosity, and that's what we're all about. So today we went out on the boat to the Aquarius underwater lab and we deployed OpenROV. The OpenROV is this open source, do-it-yourself, telerobotic submarine. It's a little robot that has a camera on it and the camera sends video images up to the surface live and you can control where the ROV drives to see what it sees. It's completely open source and open hardware so that what we've developed is just the beginning. Other people can find ways to contribute to it. We get design ideas, we get adventure ideas, we get um, exploration tips. And, and the, the community has given us so much feedback on not only the design, but what, what they want. You know, what kind of a tool would be useful for them when they're exploring. It's a tool that allows people who are just interested, without necessarily having a specific question to ask, to just go look around. The kind of things in our history that have been explored or discovered just by chance are amazing. So by giving a tool to kind of the average everyday person to go explore and find out cool stuff, I think that's really important. If we can crowdsource exploration, there's a lot of good that comes from that. And right now, no one can just go out and pilot an ROV without having a lot of money. This is a great extreme environment. The open ROV is a very capable technology. And what we were trying to test out was just a functional demonstration of the open ROV's capabilities. It had never been in the open ocean before. We didn't know if it would work in waves. We didn't know if it would work in current. And we were able to get on the first dive everything we were looking for. Being at Aquarius was just awesome. This is a lab that's a lot like something I would have dreamed up when I was a little kid. I mean, it's this huge underwater habitat with scuba divers going around, you know, working on stuff. The water was crystal clear. People were saying it was as clear as it's ever been there. And there were all sorts of fish, like, in aquariums. The allure of the ocean is that it's right there. Not just the ocean, but lakes and ponds and rivers. The ocean's three-dimensional, and that means that more than 95% of where life can exist on this planet has never been explored. So what giant squid or crazy-looking fish or worms exist out there that we've never seen, and what processes have we never seen? All that is untouched and unexplored. So that, to me, is really fascinating, and I don't think we'll ever finish exploring the ocean.